what? It was Ooh. like, oh, he, he basically found out today he's allergic to mushrooms. Don't worry, he'll play the game at the end of the day instead. He's just going to go to hospital and then come back. And I was like, that's wild. Excuse me? Like, he already had Is said, like, oh, literally play closing yeah. up. Like, I, I remember once uh, when we were about to go live, we literally <laughs> just got told by production that um, Jenko was on stage throwing up and that we needed five minutes whilst they gave him a bucket. Jeez. But it, it looks like we are live. There's no puke. Yeah. It's all games. Yep, and we have got a lay into the server at the moment, but it is going to be the quick push coming in. Oh, flying fugly will fall back. And it is going to be fallen at the back of the site, looking to try and hold this down, shut them down. But a lay, there you go, he's on the board. Already a start for the coach filling in. It's it's a good little opener, right? You know, try and get some courage in there, some CS build up for him. Well, let's see what the retake is going to be like. The response, a little bit of coach on coach play as Zeus takes one, but the heads are quickly falling back in favor of Envy as Healy and Som both pick up a kill apiece. Taco, the only one remaining. Let's see if anyone can take a swift bite out of him. Oh, Taco, that's quite filthy, Tom. That's a, a nice little adjustment there to open us up. Definitely uh, gave me a little bit of what I wanted to see from MIBR, and they take the pistol. <laughs> yeah. Both, both coaches on the board straight away. We don't have to, any, any worries of like double O's or anything of the sort. No, no crazy, they are, they crazy are coaching things off well. So, yeah, MIBR, they're going to get themselves the pistol, but there is a bomb plant down. So, Envy can definitely look to take some risks. I think the for anybody hoping to see like the, the sort of norm of Counter Strike, you've come to the wrong place. Like, you've, you've picked up on two teams in an interesting situation, but also two teams that. Already very aggressive. Like yeah. we saw it earlier from the guys at Envy. Sure, they were up against Liquid, so they were a little bit silly. But you do look at the likes of Sonic. I when we watched him play against his old team, like the South African guys, he was like pushing mid with an AWP in Dust Two. So I'm expecting some crazy stuff to come out from him, especially on Inferno where it's possible. And uh, I don't even really need to talk about Fur because everybody already knows that he is insane. But he somehow manages to make it work. You can absolutely give it. At times, when it's necessary, <laughs> that is like the most. It. That is the most UK like phrase ever. What giving it? He gives it. He does give it though. <laughs> he does. It's just one of those moments, you know, when you're confident, you just feel like you can give it. You're just in there. You lay it all out. Yeah. You give it a lot, Tom. Do I? Do I? Do I receive it though? Uh, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's off stream topic. Anyway, it is going to be one to zero in favor of MIBR, and we do have the force buy in. Talk about risks being taken. They managed to get four rifles on the board, although two are Galils. So yeah, not the best. But the SGs, on the other hand, could be something that may not be expected by the Brazilians. Well, that flashbang, good, but it doesn't matter. The blind Fugly will find himself the kill and now fall and left alone to try and defend this. Does manage to hold them back and in terms of utility, there's only one man with any on the side of Envy. It depends now how Envy just play it from this point forward, right? You've got a nice opening pick. Zeus is fairly low as well. Fallen's actually playing very up close and personal. Flashed in over the top with the aerial flash. A bit of a delayed reaction there really from Fallen as he went in. Given the opportunity for another coach kill to come through, that's with two Cs, coach kill. Sonic responding back with a Digu onto Lucas, and now you've completely opened up that site. It's yours for the taking. There is a gap in the smoke that Taco's going to attempt to make opportunity of, but he can't actually get anyone through it, and it all falls down to him to save the day once again. Same position, better rifle, but a lot more men to chew his way through. Already, Tom's going to put him down, and, well, we've got more stats. Our stats man is also staying up late, so... Um... Thank you, David. He said that so far with Zeus playing, MIBR have won one map of six. Ooh. So it's not good, but I do think that this is a completely different scenario because firstly, as you said, the CT, the coach on coach, mm -hmm. it is definitely going to make things more interesting. But also you have to look at the caliber of teams. Like They recently played up in Blast, where Blast is it's a small tournament of like, not in terms of the caliber, but in the amount of teams. It's very condensed, yeah. big dogs. So it's like... You just have to play a load of tough matches back to back. So, oh, Ooh, there we go. It doesn't mean that we're going to see some looser style play, though, and I do like that. I do like seeing players allowed to get aggressive, allowed to be a little bit more risky, because as I said, not a whole lot to lose. And LA, to be honest, he's slotting into the role quite well. That was nearly quite naughty. That, that, was, <laughs> like, that actually could have been pretty filth. If he got that follow up shot. So filth is above naughty then. Well, it, it's kind of a it's a scale that works its way up. Like cheeky's, write, write cheeky's <laughs> thrown in there as well, but obviously cheeky's kind of more Ooh, of a ridiculous player. Like that's quite cheeky. Yeah, that's cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, the funny thing is, this is getting to a time where I think a lot of the fans will be from America. So if this is a great way for you to learn a lot of uh, English slang, yeah, which, uh, 
you probably won't really care about, but um, you're going to get it anyway. You know, unless you're we're a, giving it. Yeah, we, we are giving it, Tom. You've been quite cheeky, aren't you? Oh, that's naughty. <laughs> 47 <laughs> seconds left on the clock. Oh, it's a free versus free. Majority of deagles in play there for MIBR. So they're going to look to try and do some uh, some dirty deagle shots on the way in towards the bomb sites. Eli still giving it. He's actually been looking very effective into the game thus far, being able to spray his way through the majority of people that dare to defy him. It's a free K for him into the round, and it's just up to Taco. Last alive again. Will find himself a Krieg. I mean, if he can put a couple of bullets into their heads, there is a chance. Right, that is a good way to go about it, but doesn't have a kit. Still an awful lot left to do. It's been interesting so far already. Like, Alea is, is maybe putting himself forward to be in the team. And he's going to go aggressive, just peeks That's wide. A Gets a fork. This, this is... Are we sure that Nifty hasn't just changed his name? Imagine. He's 7 and 2 at the moment. Like... He has as many frags as everyone else on the team. <laughs> <laughs> the rough bit is, right, it's not just about him being able to outperform Zeus. It's the fact that right now he's just outperforming. He's giving it again. Yeah. The, re the rebirth's looking good. I, to be fair, if you're coming into it and you've got to fill the shoes of Nifty, right, you want to be able to at least do some damage in the early game. If he's going to warm himself up, start getting a little bit fired up in the first few rounds and feel confident as the game progresses, it's a good way to begin it. It was already a nice start from him. Some of the flicks have actually looked pretty well adjusted as well. Like, he, he doesn't look like he's out of fashion when it comes to actually being able to just aim. Also, if they somehow make it to the arena and he plays, then mm. everybody can just chant, ole, 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 ole. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> I'd oh. love that. If he makes it, I'm, I'm challenging everybody who was there in Chicago, that is what you have to do. Just consistently. <laughs> just the whole match. From start to finish. <laughs> from the desk segment to the end of the day. Yeah. Exactly. I would be. I think even beautiful. if he's not there, you should just do it. Just because uh, this man memory. has stepped up in MV's moment of need. But they've started off strong. And he has, in particular, it is just going to be a pistol round coming in from the guys at MIB. And they've got a naughty little crossfire over on an arch side. He's going to be coming out. Dink does come in, but they're going to clear these angles effectively. And hey, Fur will at least be able to get one. But now they're going to start wrapping back around. It's left all on to Paul, and he does have the Deagle in hand. That's a kill at least Ooh. in the second as well. No more from Paul, and thankfully for Team Envy, they had to breathe a sigh of relief. But Fallen definitely looked like he is here to play. And that, to be honest, he is one of the players, like when he has his best games, I don't think there's maybe even anyone in the world is more exciting to watch. I think someone like Simple, obviously, but we see it all the time from him. I think Fallen's best games when he was in like the prime of his Counter-Strike is so good to watch. You always remember a Fallen Deagle clip. You know, you, you never remember a, a Zywoo Deagle or even clip. <laughs> <laughs> There's one every day, that's why. Maybe not today though. Although he did have his uh, 20 kill half on uh, Overpass. Ooh. Even still, all of these rounds fairly costly for Team Envy. They've been losing players left, right and center. So only one will survive in that one. Manages to remove the weapon at least. But even still going into this Byron, this sort of shows how costly, like winning the pistol and losing that second round is. They're coming in after waiting three rounds to get themselves a buy. And they've still only got flat rifles. They don't have an AWP. They, they don't have any AUGs, although they have completely fallen out of yeah. fashion. And they don't even have max utility or a kit. I'm curious as well. Sonic, he's picking up the AWP over on that T side. Let's see if he can go full guile and hit him with a Sonic boom to open this one up initially. Peers his way towards Top Banana, looking for any kind of shenanigans on the jump spot. Fallen is willing to get a little bit aggressive towards it as they use the early Molotov to block off any kind of push coming through from Envy. Fairly standard play towards Banana. Across the board, nothing too outrageous from MOBR this time. This is where they actually are probably going to try and take it as it comes, though. Obviously, they've got full rifles across the board. They've actually got smokes to work with. They've got their investment into the round. It's a lot more of a pivotal round than we had seen prior to this. And it could try and decide how the game goes from this point forward. A minute and 10 seconds left on the clock as Envy slowly begin expanding themselves out, clearing over towards apartments by the A site, though. Just sticking themselves in, seeing if they can get any early reads. Zeus. Probably going to be that first point of contact if they do go around to try and get the control of brackets, though. A minute left. They do start to probe forward a little bit more on towards this A site. It's going to be the fullback from Lucas and Mount Fur and Fallen still on the other side of the map. 
as we do start to see this execution begin. It's going to be LA leading the charge. It looks like he's almost set himself up in an entry fragger roll. I guess afterwards he can sort of sit back and watch how the team actually goes after that. But looking for the opener on to Lucas, but Lucas just going to fall back. Just play this passive, not give them any space to actually execute. And now with 20 seconds left, they have to make their way on towards this site. And can they get it done? Oh, they go for the push in the instant bounce cross. Elay with the opener. A follow-up frag as well onto Zeus as they've been able to decimate everyone that's in front of them. They've cleared the site. The bomb's going to go down. The last two players are still stationed over towards the B site. Probably just going to have to commit to a save at this point as it's not worth it. And you know what? I really like the idea of using him as an entry fragger, to be honest with you. Who is this man? Like, but <laughs> what is going on? Dude, he looks sick right now. He's hands down the best player on the server at the moment, which is... Not what I expected going into this one. In interesting stats as well, still coming through. Uh, the only player this year on Inferno with a positive rating for MIB is Fur, and that is 1.03. Wow. So it, it definitely hasn't been a good match from them. It, it's not good in terms of statistics. Then again, like if we're talking about statistics, I think it was something like MV are zero and three on land at the moment, but I believe that wasn't this roster. Like, I want to say that that was a previous roster. Like, that's this year, which for anybody, that was in my voice, you could hear the quotation marks. I hope. This it, year. It came through, it yeah, came through. That, that is that is basically what I'm saying, because it, it, I don't believe it was this team. So, yeah, obviously, definitely not with a lay. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were missing, because still, he is already into double digits, and we are into around number six coming up, so... It's really not a bad way to utilize him, though, to be honest with you. Like, if you've got him as an entry fragger, you can thrust him in towards a bomb site. If he dies, you know, no bother. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world. They could then try and refrag it and work their way through. However, if he's getting at least one kill, what he's getting right now is probably averaging around two for the most part, really, from what we've witnessed. You can then follow through with that. You can gain the side control. You use him as basically a bit of an aggressive scout. It's working quite nicely for him. He had good pace into the prior round as well when they went for the split push on the A site. He did more than he needed to, finding the double entry as well to actually get them back on in the right moment of the commotion. It's good, dude. If, if he carries on like this, then... Um, it's worrying because obviously we needed the big dog nifty but if he can't come out to play right now this is still proving to uh to really alleviate some of the stress in this game for envy imagine if la eliminates him i'd be <laughs> it would be Ooh, rough fuckly again he seems to be playing the anti-flash down towards banana and it is working fur with a double kill at least We'll bring this back slightly, but it's down to Fallen and Taco. Again, there's no kit. There's not even really much utility. This wasn't so much of a full investment, although a couple of players are low. Ooh. Fallen tries to do something special, very aggressive. And it's actually interesting that he goes for the aggressive play with the M4, and Taco almost looks like he's fallen into a save with a Deeg. So it maybe needed to try and wait. I, I guess the idea is like, okay, you catch the guy planting the bomb. Maybe you pull off a hero play. And again, as mentioned, both teams in such a weird situation that we're going to see some looser, crazy Counter-Strike and maybe not the such methodical stuff we have seen from them when they were at the top of their game. So it's definitely interesting, but MVP T side already getting their fifth round on the board. It's a great way to start it for them. Taco at least looks to try and be a bit of a troublemaker towards the end, if he can prove to be a fickle mistress as they work their way down Banana. A nice tag onto a couple of the boys here will send them straight down to the Never Realm, but they're not going to be as ridiculous to push past. Just hold towards Bot Banana, go through into the next round. They're all happy. So the only thing he saves there is a Deagle, as he will have to reinvest into this one. They've still got a little bit of money to play with from IBR. Not the worst position to be in in the world, but... Something needs to change over towards that B site because Envy have clearly found that weak point. They found the weakened knee, they've picked up the bamboo cane sticks that are underneath the ring, Tom, and they've started really hitting that knee quite hard. Ooh, sounds painful. Mm. It's, uh, it's a it, good it, WWE storyline. It looks painful as well. But um, yeah, Fallen going to get his AWP in hand. That's what we wanted to see. Mentioned him previously as obviously players we talk about a lot within the Brazilian scene. There's a lot of fantastic orpers out there, so... He's definitely got some competition. It didn't used to. Like, it was, it was only really Henny, but there you Ooh. go. A nice start. A little bit of help from Sonic along the way. He's got an AWP of his own. Definitely, it seems like statistically Inferno is not one of his better maps. Like, it, it definitely works well on a map like Mirage, and as said, Dust 2 definitely fits within this player's list of maps. But either way... CT side this time have kicked things off well. 
and he's still looking to try and probe on towards his A side. They've done very well of sort of isolating Lucas. He, he doesn't seem to slot in particularly well. It's very early days, but he's been caught out a few times. This time on the other side of the map, they've tried to switch things up. We'll see if it works. Zeus is going to be there, and he sprays down too with the MP9. The coach is coming up clutch and leaves it all on to Sonic. One versus four. Ooh, they're running towards him, though. Taco gets a bit of clean down by Sonic. Stuck on an island on his own towards the A site as he will plant that bomb. And now it all just comes down to his individual prowess with this orb. If he can try and prove that he is a bit of a punisher. He's a sniper with a hell of a scope, Tom. And he's trying to take out a cop or two. Finds one of them onto Lucas. Almost the adjustment there. Fallen. He gave him a brief grace period, but it isn't going to work out well for Sonic. He's set to snooze and MIBR get their second. Yeah, and Zeus, again, good positioning. It, it does seem to be the coaches that are having some of the more yeah. impactful plays in this game so far. Obviously, Fallen as well with a, a double on that AWP. But yeah, it, it, we saw it again earlier versus G2 that Lucas seemed to struggle within that matchup. Expect quite a bit more from him here because, again, it's a, a different sort of game. But even still, like, even like jokes aside, like we talked about LA a lot, like you, you talk about even just Som and Sonic, like individually, I think they can match up to the players on the other side like they, they are young guns with like incredible aim so I, I think you do still have to be careful facing off against some of them and the aggression they've had down banana so far it's actually been fugly just picking up that opening kill the majority of times when they've gone for those aggressive peaks it's way better as well because they've got the utility to play with now they lost the first couple rounds and never much cash that's a big opener which which means they can actually ooh, Try and do some shenanigans towards banana use the double molotov to actually gain crowd control early instead though he lay hungry to try and fight back through. Gets a beautiful instant kill. Finds the second onto Lucas as well as he beheads him behind the barrels. And at this point, sure, two of their players are low, Tom, but they have a huge manpower advantage. And look at the rotation that's been spurred off the back of this as well. Two players now on B, only Fallen, left as the arch defender on his own at A. Alay started that peak with 25 HP. <laughs> Mate, he's confident. He is playing ridiculous. I think he's got 146 ADR, and that's before this round ends as well. So if anything, that's only going to go up. So here we go. Push in. Zeus at the back. He's now orping. The secondary orp pulled in for our other coach on the other side. He's going to be isolated by Sonic. Spray through does enough. And now the CT side are pretty much out of this round. It's left onto Fallen and Taco. Deadly duo at that, but... This is such a tough ask. And you have to look at how low those players are now. They're so unlucky to not have at least found one of them. Fugly will peek wide. And Taco, if he can hit the timing on this push through the smoke, maybe there's an opportunity here. But in all honesty, I think they should just be looking to try and save these weapons. It is rough because basically every player on Envy combined has about 200 HP total. So it puts them <laughs> into an awkward spot, right? Where they could actually get wiped out here, but none of them are exiting towards CT. They're all sprinting their way down Banana as they just want to try and get as far away as possible. And they should be fine to actually get away with a four-man save. So all of them clashing onto their weapons. It'll be a two-player save from IBR. Taco taking the brunt of the damage, going to sprint and see if he can find anything at least. Maybe an AK upgrade if it's there. Gets an AWP. All right, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'll be interested to see who's actually going to man it, though. Because it's, like, the obvious choice previously was Cold Zero. Yeah. We don't have him anymore. Is it going to be Taco? Like, that that's the thing. It's like a double up setup for this roster is actually kind of weird. Give it to Lucas, ask him to pretend to be his brother. I mean, <laughs> like, can you just <laughs> do what your brother normally does for a bit? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> you don't want me to rifle? You, you are twins. Can't you just, like... Do it's linked, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, imagine if they accidentally bought the wrong twin. That, that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not the one that orps? Ah, uh, oh, I get. Welcome to the team. No, obviously Lucas is a fantastic player, and it, he does fit into this. But yeah. so far, it doesn't seem like the roster really suits. Which it, it's it's tough because not only is he he joined the team that then sort of just fell apart. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like he's been left in an awkward situation. Obviously, it's still a good opportunity for him, and I think going forward. When, when like they do finally bring in a fifth, it, it's still going to be a good team to be on. Oh, yeah. Right now, it's really weird. Fallen, though, still going strong. We'll be able to get the opener onto Som. LA looking to try and round the corner. Another pick for him into the site, but Taco is there. Both Thorps, interestingly, playing on towards that A site. Fugly will be able to get another pick back. 
Sonic just waiting on the angle, waiting for somebody's beacon. Zeus, he seems to only be using the MP9, but do you know what? I'm happy to see it. Fugly, he has the bomb. If he can get this kill onto Fur, or no, not even need it, Fur just looks away. So this is actually going to be an opportunity at least to secure their money for the next round. You can get the bomb down. He's got one piece of offensive utility to play over the Molotov. Nade's going to come in, but bounce off the wall. The ricochet won't really help out Fur there. Instead, it won't transfer any damage towards Fugly. He's put himself on a pedestal. It just depends how he opts to play it. He might be on a high position, but does he have a high skill ceiling to try and clutch this one out? Molotov onto the bomb, dashed out, goes for the wide Ooh. swing. Fur has been decimated. Zeus takes a bit of fire damage as well. This could be awkward oh. if he finds the frag. Fugly, fucking them all up as he gets a 4K to take the round. Envy, they make it around seven, Tom. This is outrageous. This is outrageous. Like, bear in mind, 13 frags for Eli, of course. Yeah, no, he is still going off, but like even just the opening kill he got onto Fallen, who seems to be, again, one of the main players who's actually able to do something over on the MIBR roster, but this is not what I expected. Like, Fugly, that was a sick 1v3 clutch, mm. and you could see the second he realized it was Zeus left at the end, he was like, I'm just going to... Let's go for the face, just fight him. I'm fighting him. But he still did that versus the others as well, so... Oh, it's Deegs again. Oh! Fallen, did just so sick. This Deagle, he's going back for more. There's actually fur this time. They've got some utility. They're going to try and section off some who has retrieved the AWP from Sonic. Maybe not necessarily because he wants to use it, but just because he doesn't want it falling into Fallen's hands. There's just going to be a passive move back now from MIBR. They've got their opener. They're going to try and play the mind games a bit with the side of Envy. They've also switched up as well, rotating off Fallen, so they can now put him over towards the A site and bring Zeus in to try and double down. He still has his smoke as well, which could actually be quite pivotal the later this round goes on for, to at least burn through that clock a little bit more. We're about the 50 second mark now as well, so if you're going to need that, it, it would be soon. The other two players on the side of Envy making a bit of commotion in the ocean towards the A site as they cast that smoke over towards Arch. Bomb has been recovered and they're going to slowly double back towards Banana. So it looks like it will be a B play here, Tom. It just depends on who's actually going to find that opener. Som has the AWP, and he's been looking to try and, you know, peer through, have a sniff, see if he can find anyone. Let's see if Zeus will get a bit too overconfident here, potentially. Yeah, just waiting patiently. Smoke still down, beginning to fade as the 20-second marker is hit. Smoke will go down to try and isolate him. I think Zeus might have to just go for an aggressive playthrough, and that's exactly what happens. In fact, it's Fur from the back of the site, and there's only eight seconds. They have to try and get this bomb down, and it's going to be Fur just spamming bullets away. But they do manage to get the plant just about. The rest of the team just that little bit too far away. And now, once again, we're going to see them fall into this clutch situation. Som, he has that AWP in hand, already gets rid of one. The second will fall as well, and Lucas is left all on his lonesome to try and bring this back one versus two it's not happening and how did envy hold on to that round i i genuinely don't know how he didn't get the bomb down it's like how he got the bomb down brother it was so lucky because you saw the peak come back out as well somehow accidentally hits the uh the, the middle portion of the fountain yeah if that would have been his head that's the round over instantly you're not getting that bomb down you would have really, lost even if he just tags him a bit because then it's like do you let go of the plant do i commit do yeah, I... exactly that, that you put the doubt into their minds if you start taking wow. damage but Dear Lord, Envy, that's, they're, they're getting wild. through these, but like what, a 1v3 clutch, a, a 2v4 clutch, like th this is mental. It's definitely like it's made the game very interesting, it has to be said, but crazy stuff. Well, stranger things have happened. I, I, for some reason, there I started thinking of the show, so it, it threw me off. <laughs> well, you made me think of it. And I was like, I don't even watch the show. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Well, round 11. Let's see if there is going to be any more shenanigans going into this one. A minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Looks like they've actually gone a little bit more aggressive with their setup towards mid. They wanted to try and allow Lucas to do something of a, a, a bit of a power play, potentially, with the M4 here. Normally, a very rampant rifler this time couldn't actually cause too much damage and put a pin on things for Envy. So they're grouping up. They're going back to what worked before, the A bombardment. Yeah, Taco left on site and more Zeus is already gone. And so will Taco. It's just quick execution coming in from the T side. And 
Fur needs to try and catch them. LA just peeks into the angle. Imagine that. Fur waiting for you onto the other side. A major winner, a double major winner on the other side, just waiting for you. LA, normally a coach. Like, nah, mate, got this. Ferrari peek. Get out of this. Rips his head off. Fallen, left alone, and to be honest, like LA might be someone they want to look at to try and uh, pick up. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are looking for a new fifth. Yeah, they're, they're looking for someone. Put Franks on the board. He's 15 and 8. Top in the server. I, I genuinely can't believe it. You know what? It's really not too bad, though. Like an entry fragger role for a coach, if they're confident, at least in their own capabilities, yeah. to just fight, you can do a lot of damage. Because it's also the unknown quantity where if people just... Oh, oh, oh. fallen. He's fallen over. Did they plant, like, maybe they planted deeper into A. I don't actually remember where they They must have planted, like, there. maybe towards, like, back left, over by the sort of library, towards, closer to library. Yeah. That's rough. That, that's actually that's, quite annoying. That's tilting. That is tilting. And they're actually going to take a tactical pause off the back of it. The other thing that's really worrying here is, I, I think Lucas just looks out of it. Like, I've seen him play... Now, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm going to sort of guess here, but I've, I've always seen him play when he played on, like, Luminosity, or any team that he played... Uh, with his brother. Yeah. And they, they, it was sort of like a one-two punch. Like, you would have... They had him, crazy synergy. Yeah, him going very aggressively. And like, he would make that play all the time, but he wouldn't miss. Like, it wouldn't be like that. And it, it, it really does look like he's lost within this roster. And, like, you, yeah, you do have to remember, those guys played together for a ridiculous amount of time. There was, like, a tweet from him going back to Brazil and, like, it, like his brother meeting him at the airport. It was, like, adorable, but... I don't know if that has played any part into this, but it, it does seem like at the moment he, he doesn't fit here. It's, it's more as well, it's rough, right? Because you're coming into a team that essentially is is once again thrown back into his infancy. It has to rebuild the whole roster. But he's not really a player that everyone else on that team is going to give first pick of roles either in terms no of way. like where he's playing, right? So he's now super un uncomfortable. It's kind of like if you think of like Vitality with Alex initially, where everyone was like, Alex isn't doing anything. He was so sick before. Why is he not fitting in? And it's like, well, I'm now playing completely different yeah. roles and completely different positions to what I did basically for years before. You, you kind of got to give it some time. It's obviously just rough for Lucas as well because it's not even this is the team we're going to be going forth with for the, you know, for the foreseeable future. Yeah. This is still him finding his own sort of even ground in a team that doesn't really know where they want to be in even a couple of weeks from now. Yeah, I, I do like the fact as well that we saw from the interview that the at least the vibe around MIBR seemed to be much better with him in the team. Like, it, it, he's obviously named as like one, a positive guy and somebody who's going to be like looking to bring the team up yeah which is always something that's important to have within a roster like all, all jokes aside like you talk about someone for example like neil m like th that is what he does for teams you like, need that morale boost he pumps, he pumps them up and it, it works for a lot of players so that's always going to be important the other thing as well is like it, it seemed like they were positively talking Ooh. about him falling in the deeg today He's 12 and 7 at the moment. He's definitely looking to bring out some vintage rounds from him. Unfortunately, they're not actually winning any of them. Like, two rounds on the ball for MIBR at the moment, playing against the lowest ranked team in the tournament with a coach. Now, no matter how well the coach is performing, it's still going to have that asterisk next to it. Here we go, though. Push in towards the site, or eventually, once they get past all the flashbangs, oh. and LA still gets the entry. Well, the Deco is at least doing some damage to them. Check shot as well onto Android. Going to leave him limping across towards the bomb site as Sonic will hammer in those numbers and get the bomb down. Fugly just waiting for Lucas to come towards him. Unzoom no problem as he hits his head. Zeus uh, as well. Oh, he's burning to a crisp. Looking quite a lot like Summit there, but at least he does survive. Yeah, I don't think... At least it wasn't his own Molotov. No. That, that's far worse. <laughs> <laughs> On the scale, it's definitely... Definitely a lot further up there. Like he may even just bring the Kevlar into the next round. Not the worst case scenario for them here, but well, the score line definitely is. And uh, even even if they are still going into this with with sort of nothing to lose, I still feel like they would have gone into this match going, "Well, come on, we can win this one." Like you, if it, if, like all the other matches where you you played against like G2, who obviously they just won. Like I think it was an event in Poland, obviously a, a lower tier event, but um, also then was in the final of Pro League as well, yeah. like the Pro League finals, the final of the Pro League finals. And definitely not a mouthful at all, but um, yeah. So they're they're a team at least on form. Like Kenny seems to be back, Shox is performing well, and then you got the new guys on the block also playing. So that game you can go into and go, okay, probably not going to win this. This one playing against an envy with a coach. 
and you're losing 10-2, that's that's not the same. That's not the same as losing to a fully fledged G2. And in fact, they were doing better against G2, <laughs> which is more worrying. It's, I mean, it, it's not a great start, really, is it for you? Obviously, ten to two down. You're on your CT half. There's not been much that's coming through. You can't really just sort of hold those angles right now. And the scary factor is, it's not been the majority of players in Envy that have been able to find those opening jewels. It's been Ele that's getting the opening jewels. He's been the one that's been making it work. But the spray down could be nice from Taco at least to try and put them into somewhat of a better position. Instead, eventually he is weaned out and taken down, leaving it on a triumphant trio for Envy now. Som, Sonic, and Android to try and continue on to win this one. Fallen and Fur, definitely the heavy hitters of MIBR. If they can wind up that fist, get it clocked back, maybe they could do some damage instead, though. Fallen sent off to the moon there by Sonic. And now it is left all on to Fur, and well, you have to feel like he's just going to be saving this. So, yeah, an another round seemingly slipping away from the guys at MIBR. And to, to be honest, it, it's not even really been close. Like there's been a round or two, like obviously there was the rounds where we see like the clutches coming out, but th this is ridiculous. Like j just the way that things have been going and well, 11 on the board for Envy on their T side. Like we, we sort of noticed from MIBR before, it looked like their T side was actually the, the weaker. So that that's not a good sign. I don't know what is at this point. Fallen's doing okay. Oh, <laughs> I would like to see the uh, the Zeus auto shot he can. I want to see if he does anything outrageous with it when we get into this one. As I, I feel like maybe he could pack a punch that bad boy. Well, I, I imagine he's just going to go sit in apps. Yeah, but what if? What if he gets aggressive? Ooh, Where is he oh, going? He's, he's going not, banana. He's banana. Ooh. Oh, go on. I, don't, I do not want to switch off this man until he dies. Unless, of course, he just falls back to the... Okay, you can switch off him now. Well, hang on, hang on. He's still, still holding strong. There's potential. I'm invested. No, okay. He's gone. He's gone. And so are we. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Molotov in the boiler. Really starting to crack things up. It's the, uh, the peep show mantra. You've got to trick the boiler. See, where does he play now, though? I actually, I, I do get that. <laughs> I like that reference. But like, okay. It was just, it looked like he was going to play Arch. And I was like, eh? <laughs> what? Okay. Well, Fur, he's gonna at least take down the beast of LA. LA, LA, LA. LA, LA, LA. Tom's eating grenades as well. It's not good for your health, leaving you on 54 HP. Everyone's grouped up. The hustle and bustle. They've been talking the talk. Let's see if they can walk the walk into this round. 50 seconds on the clock. Fur. This man can normally be quite ferocious, but let's see if he can do anything atrocious as they try and bypass him, Tom. 45 seconds as they're waiting just by his lair. Molotov off, though, as it will buy him some time. Fugly, but up on the elevated angle as well, trying to peer above. But it really is just going to come down to if they clear this angle. Som, it's not looking like he wants to, and that's the bomb gone. Yeah, and Farrell also has the smoke. He can look to try and buy even more time and just spraying through, but it's fugly to actually take him down. Luckily, Lucas is there, and he'll finally step up with a double. It's left all onto Android, and this time there's nothing he can do, and it's the aggression of Fur that finally nets them around, but also sort of the mistakes of Envy. Mm. I think just that late into the round, they didn't expect anybody to be there, because normally at that point, you're like, okay, let's fall back to the site, let's play passive, but clearly not played against Fur before. It's also, this is one of those games where you can't do anything by halves. Like, you can't yeah. just expect someone not to be there and not clear the angle because normally they wouldn't be. Because everything that's kind of consistent about this game has been binned instantly before it even yeah. started, right? We haven't seen a mid rush yet, though. No, Nate stacks <laughs> soon, potentially. Oh, Fur's getting into it now. And that's, a, that's an important thing, especially going into the T side, because he needs to be someone who's getting them opening picks. Like, there, there's plenty of other players that you'd normally gamble on, but Lucas has been so quiet. Fallen, okay, he's been opening, but T-side opening Inferno, that's pretty tough. And then, what, like, Ooh. Taco being entry for a girl? I don't know, maybe. Fugly, though, is going to catch out Fallen. At least gives them some space into this round. The bomb being juggled and for... Oh, do it to him, Fur. Oh, he's going to catch him with an Ooh. A and an but he switches back. Yes, Fur gets him, though. He really is getting into the swing of things. And Fugly now left in a one versus three once again. Oh, this could be awkward, though, for Fugly. Surrounded <laughs> from the rear. Taco going to spot him. 11 of four, Tom, as they take that one down. More to come in the Coach on Coach action. Stay tuned after the break, where we'll have more.
Welcome back. We are still here with MB versus MIBR, and MIBR, well, they are currently being beaten by... I, I sort of chuckled with that one. I probably shouldn't have done that. But anyway, moving <laughs> on. Uh, yeah, they're currently being beaten by MB with a coach, which uh, even though they have one themselves, oh, wow, the odds are even... Oh, I'm not that surprised, but yeah, the odds now in their favor. It is worth mentioning that, as said, this is one of their worst maps and has been for a while. So there's still potential that we do see the turnaround coming into the next one, but even still, like this sort of level is not anywhere near what we expect from them. Mirage will be coming up after this, but we'll see if they can turn things around on the T side. Well, already some aggression coming down on towards the B side. I'm gonna try and take the fight. They've actually left a lay back as well. A couple of flashbangs, the utility available, and I'm gonna try and pop them in towards the side of the map, but on the other side of the map, it's going to be an apps push. Well, let's see the change of pace here towards Banana. I was going to say with Sonic looking like he wanted to try and get the early opener, but Fallen, he did it with a Deagle, and he's a Punisher with a P250 as well as he flicks around and finds the first kill. Everyone else now barreling out a balcony to swarm towards the A site and do some damage that they start to find. Lucas popping the head of Fugly. Som in a bit of an awkward spot, couldn't do too much. Site control's taken. There's only two boys left to try and mount this retake. Well, they did have a lay, but now he's dead and it's probably over. Yeah, it, it just seemed like MV in that round, every single player just weren't able to connect their shots, which is, it's always going to happen in pistol rounds. Like we talk about it sometimes being fairly random in the way that pistol rounds can actually go. But yeah, like Sonic peeking aggressively. Android at least manages to connect onto one. Oh, and a second as well. Well, this would be the most insane clutch we've seen so far. And he can at least make a little bit of money. But Lucas is going to be there to put him down. And it will be a fifth on the board for MIBR. And j just bear in mind that even still playing CT sides with a coach, especially one that you haven't practiced with, like you basically just got to go, can you just be nifty for this game? Like, can you just play where he plays? Which, that, that might be a position you never played during your career. Like, yeah. we mentioned it on the other side, like with Lucas slotting into this roster. But it's going to be even worse for LA because he hasn't even had any time to practice. Well, not even a few minutes. No, it's literally play here, do this. You, you just need to. Like, yeah. We, I mean, it depends. In some ways, you know, it might not be the worst thing in the world for him. They've stuck him over towards Banana. He's supported by Som. Theoretically, right, it's not that bad. As long as he's literally just being, like, told to, you know, double Molotov here, you Molotov close, I'll Molotov deep. He's going to know, yeah, exactly what they need to do strategically. Like, that'll be fine for him. You know what I mean? Like, that that won't work out too bad. It's, it's literally just about surviving and basically delaying time. And effectively, you're in the part of the map where you can do so much damage just by using grenades. So as long as you do that, you'll probably be okay. Oof, fugly with the opener, with the 5-7, the stationary. Damage coming through. Android as well with a bit of an uppercut. But they're just overwhelming that site so easily, Tom. One HP for Fallen, though. There's definitely still some possibilities here. Lucas spamming a lot of his bullets will allow Som to at least make a little bit of a push forward. LA. Oh, he only needed a bullet, but it isn't going to connect. And Fallen's going to go wrapping back around in towards middle, make things very difficult for him. And Oh, okay. no. Starting to fade away a little bit. <laughs> Oh, nice shot from Som, though. If he can find the kill on to, well, I was going to say Lucas, there's an opportunity here. And while well, LA, maybe switch to 5 7. It doesn't look like the CZ's gun. No, I don't <laughs> think so. It was working well with the AK, right? Sustained yeah. fire was fine, but tap, tapping with the, uh, the CZ there, not looking, looking too good from at all. But from IBR, they have been throwing at least some kind of a lifeline to get themselves back into the game now. Yeah, definitely important that they convert the pistol and mind this round. Maybe just going to see an aggressive push down banana or something. They've got a single flashbang. Like it, it's unless they're just going to sit back and basically wait. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we just see something ludicrously aggressive. Actually, just going to go for that little crossfire in mid. I actually quite like this. It's it's a full out gamble. If they push in this direction, you can have the filthiest crossfire you've ever seen. If they don't, well, there's no one there, so you just have to kind kind of walk around to be and either just opt to save. Fur's going to find the stack. Oh, that should be the round. Pretty much done. Does In fact, Fur's going to make himself a nice little bank of cash as well. So maybe a chance for Fugly. In fact, a couple of kills actually coming in for him. So a bit of extra money made. And if he gets too much more, he could even opt to drop the AWP over to Sonic to make sure that he has extra cash going forward.
Curious to see how they actually try and play this one from this point forward as well. Som just trying to bait them out, going for the knife face across, hoping that someone will push further down or at least be a bit more scared, knowing there's someone so close by, looking for the exit frags. And they could try and wide swing on this. Post bomb blowing as well. And really do an awful lot of damage. Fallen's testing the waters as he goes in first. He's only got a P250, so he's got the worst thing in the world if he dies. And he actually picks the head off of Som as well. That's uh, a little bit more awkward for Envy as they were hoping to try and clutch onto some kind of weapon there, but instead they get nothing. Both guns gone. And a big play from LIVR at the end of the round. Also picking up the round as well and getting it closer. 11 to 7 now. So Lucas from HLTV has just tweeted that when he was around the MV play area, he, at the beginning of the round, he heard someone say, Zach, who is LA, go kill. <laughs> <laughs> Huge. Oh, that is fantastic. I mean, that's what he did. Yeah, that, that is what he did. Also, G2 have just uh, taken the first map versus Liquid. Wow, this is one hot banana as well. That was a lot of Molotovs. Bit of fried bananas, all right. I don't know just about hot banana. Don't mm. li don't leave it out in the sun. No, they go quite mushy. <laughs> Here we go. It does look like T side are going to opt to try and take some control. LA is on the other side, already falling back a little bit passively. Going to try and throw out some counter utility to give Som a little bit of extra space. But either way, the T's are going to start rotating their way back. They've opened up already. LA's, in fact, going to be caught out just from the spray through the smoke from Lucas. So caught out of position. And now they've rotated an extra player on towards the B site. It will leave a lot of pressure onto Sonic and Android as the execution begins coming around that mid position. But the bomb goes back the other way. Envy. Four players remaining here. Everyone bolstering themselves over towards the B site. So it looks like they are gambling that this is where the play is going to be coming from. The triumphant trio slowly going for this backstab around. If you know it, it's what's made you giggle. All, all the T's have just gone round Arch. Yeah, they have. They've sent three of them round Arch this, to try backstab it. And it's probably going to work as well. This is such a weird round. Everybody's on B. The backstab's coming in. Taco's going to own one. And now just look at this position for Andre. This is horrible. Somehow they managed to get a couple of kills. And actually, Fugly's turned this down. There's only 12 seconds left. They're going to go running for the bomb. The flashbang leaves them blind. But Fallen hits the shot he needed to. That is one of the messiest rounds of Counter-Strike I think I've ever seen. But MIBR, they're going to take it. It was pretty outrageous uh, that that was the way it was played out in the end there. You send the attack squad back round through Speedway to try backstab. You had the stack on B, but you were then thrown into an MIBR sandwich and it just did not work out they, well at they all. They didn't have time. Like, that was the thing. Like, they oh, wrapped yeah. around Arch. They didn't have time to rotate the bomb back, so they just had to go, well, you're just going to backstab their whole team. <laughs> you just had to. It was that or you lose the round. Yeah. And I mean, they won it with like 10 seconds left of of bare chance, but uh, it, it came throughout as a win in the end. Envy as well, completely destroyed for money now. Fugly's going in with a max seven though, so uh, maybe he can be a bit of a blockade. You have to wonder if Fugly knew how much time was left on the clock, because you have to feel if he could have just hid him back in dark. Tried to burn down the clock. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit more, but I suppose eventually they double peek him. So it, it was one of those situations where I don't think there's particularly a wrong play, and his flashbang actually blinded both of them. So if he had connected the shots, then well, he wins the round. But 11 to eight. Bear in mind that this was, what, 11 to 2 at one point? So there has been a streak of rounds now for MIBR. They're looking to build into this one. Fur has definitely been a big part of that as he started to step up. Maybe realizing that, hey, wait a minute. I should probably be the best player in the server, so I'm going to start owning. And that's exactly what started to happen. And, well, Sonic will at least be able to find one. Nothing more, though, has fallen. He may be... Getting a piece of that as well, and Lucas playing this Lurk roll. Maybe, maybe we're wrong about the CZ. As LA is actually going to be able to steal that SG away. The thing is, have they made the call of go kill or go save? It looks like it's going to be go save. I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for the 1v4 LA clutch, and then we would have really bellowed out the full LA charm. Oh, yeah, it, it would have come through. Ooh. All right, well, he's laid out Zeus there, at least. So it's worked well on the coach on coach play. Actually, yeah, it might be. I don't really want to overface this one. Like, this is a, a round where there wasn't actually that much invested. It was just the extra cash that was there for Team Envy. So they can buy anyway. You lose too many players here. Your, your money's not like particularly solid. Like they, They've got, okay, tackle and fall in with some extra money, but an orb hits the deck, and you pretty much spend all of that extra cash. So 
Yeah, they are just going to slow down a little bit with their aggression, but they have brought it within two rounds. And to be fair, before their streak, that was all they had. So seven rounds in a row now for the Brazilians. Well then, round 21. Envy, they are still in the lead, but they've been losing that grasp they had. It's quickly been falling in favor of MIBR. It's essentially what happens when you try and climb a greasy pole. Uh, eventually, you just slip. <laughs> what? Did you not hear it at first? And it just it sunk in. I just yeah. had the little giggle. Just saw it just creep out through the smile. I want to see Sonic do some damage, though, actually. That's the one thing I've kind of been hoping for, and we haven't had that much off. He's got eight kills to his name. He hasn't been as impactful as I've kind of been trying to put the feelers out there and see if he would be. Obviously, T-Side Warp wasn't given many chances. There was no real faces coming towards him. There's like one round where they had a double orb set up and both played defensive on A. So other than that, it's all been quite calm in the, the sense of who he was fighting T-Side. CT half, though, there is a lot more opportunities for him to actually shine through. It just depends on how MLPR play this. And a lot of their damage has been going down towards Banana. This time, though, it is going to be an A hit, Tom. Yeah, this is his chance to at least have the impact. They've left Lucas again as that Lurk player, and it gives them the ability to at least double back onto Banana if they want to. Sonic's going to go peeking, and this time he will catch out Fallen. And actually, Archside has been almost completely negated by the CT side. They've just fallen into the sights using that pick control. They are going to look to double back, obviously realizing where LA is. He had a good T side, but he seems to be a bit weaker, at least of holding his position. Spotting out their opponents, but jumping and making some noise. Luke's going to just run through the smoke and his bird to actually take him down. A mistake made, but Som's quickly going to trade things back, looking for more. The youngster finds another, then leaves it on to Zeus and Taco to try and clutch this one out. Even going for the spam through, can't quite find the shot. But now the rotation comes in and the cavalry arrives. Some. Ooh, the exit should find the shot. Takes down Zeus, he's gonna hit the floor. It's a four versus one. Taco already exposed. It's an easy hit there from Sonic to pick his way through him. A 2k for him into the round. So it's all coming up orps on this one. Yep. And it will be 12 for Envy now. Yeah, that's what it took. And well, the AWP is doing the work. They'll keep them into this next round. And now the damage over onto that T side starts to come into effect a little bit. They'll be okay for this one. They'll be able to rebuy. They could even get the AWP onto Fallen still with Kevlar. So it, it's not the end of the world, but those sort of damaging rounds with pistols are starting to play a little bit of a part for the side of MIBR. And if they lose this one, we could just see MB run away with the map. In theory, they could. Like they, This could spiral out of control fairly quickly, especially if the orbs keep working out from that way. Ooh. Big double nade down towards bottom mid. Unfortunately, it isn't actually going to do any damage at all towards MIBR. So everyone's still sitting pretty there with 100 HP across the board. Fallen just hard scopes that over towards T-steps, though. Looking up to see if there is be any wide faces. Instead, the only one that comes through is the face of LA. Ripped clean off by Lucas, though, in the battle for Banana. And they've seen their golden opportunity now. They know to try and run away with this one as they're going to barrel their way up towards top banana the nade lands between the legs of som as well knocking him down to 40 hp sonic just going to hold the aggressive angle it's two orbs holding this site they need to hit their shots and it's a glorious pick at least to kick it off as taco gets taken down yeah still a minute on the clock at least for the t's to play with but i said this is a bit of a crunch time round for either side this could be mibr's ticket right back in or it could be the map almost being sealed. Sonic looking to get aggressive once again. Lucas is on the other side and he finds the pick once more. That CT side orb really is starting to play a part. The smoke with the Molotov, I believe, behind it. They're going to push straight through and Zeus just jumps across. Sonic catches two more and he's looking for all of it. It's fallen to finally put him down, but it seems like it's too little too late. And Fugly's there to close it. 13 and 9. Envy now set the economy back of the Brazilian side and get some, well, well-needed clarity as they look to move forward once again. They needed a round. They needed to try and actually pick these up and have some consistency there. You can't just win one off and then let it all fall back into the normality. MIBR as well, using their third pause now. So they've actually been putting a lot of stock into taking times out to, to talk about this. 
that's kind of what we saw the revitalization though on T-side. So if it worked, you know, you might as well talk about it. They also don't have much cash, so they can figure out the buy going back into this one and decide where they want to go from here because you're teetering on a knife's edge. It's the fact that Envy now, they win this, 14 rounds, very easily going to probably be able to extend that lead to a match point at least as well. It's not the worst thing in the world because obviously it's their map pick. So yeah. if you do concede it, the, there's still a chance to come back into it. But for just the pure fact of kind of like Eli versus Zeus right now, Eli had so much more weight to him on that T side. He was just sprinting his way for everyone. So that's a scary factor about what we have left coming off. Obviously, Mirage being the next map, T side again. He could do an awful lot of damage, but that's all hearsay at this point. We're going to have to wait and see. Right now, though, in the current present, it's round 23. We're just getting into it with a minute and 40 on the clock. Envy. Oh, trying to play a little bit aggressive. That was a nice little uh, game of bowling there that almost got him a uh, an ace against Taco, knocking him down to 45 HP. Now the T's definitely looking like they're going to try and pick up the base of double Molotov now going in towards that apartment's position. I, I think the, the CT side are definitely aware of this potential apps rush. It's, it's a very common pistol play, so... They're definitely doubling up all of their utility in that direction. It's almost definitely going to be this push in. That nade was fantastic. 48 damage done onto Android. He's their biggest problem. If they can clear out Pit, wrapping around onto the site becomes quite a bit easier. Smoke's going to be going down for either side to try and give Android that little bit of extra space. But there comes the cross. Hugley's going to be completely isolated. In fact, the T's are actually coming out on top, at least for now. LA's able to get one, but it's left all onto Som. Now, he is the sort of person I'd want in these clutches. The flashy Orpa looking to try and get back in here. The question is, can he isolate one of these jewels? Oh, he sets himself up so we can try and peer into an angle. He's predicted a man to be. He is close, but it's not quite where the play is going to be. Lucas just sat waiting, has no reason to go for it. Ooh. Although, if he did hold it, he would have got his gift. It's just desserts that he wanted instead. Backing off, saving the AWP, clutching it through into the next round. They concede this one. MIBR, it was pivotal that they won this. If they wanted to try and, well, really give themselves an opportunity to actually take this game. MV otherwise would have been on 14, one away from match point, in a good position with their economy. Now you've done some damage. You get yourself up to 10. You save a Krieg and an AWP as well. It's not a bad round by any means for MIBR. They're going to be very happy with that one. Yeah, I think that AWP save, though, is actually enough to give them some sort of buy going forward. Like, Andrew could even drop another one if he wanted to to Sonic and then get a rifle back. I think maybe LA will have to be the one to take the hit. But this is going to be a, a sort of interesting scenario for Envy. They're going to be taking a pause as well just to talk through what they actually do with the buy. But, yeah, you have to remember what was actually into that round. Like, that was MIBR just risking everything with pistols and really going for it. And I wonder if we're going to see a few more of those sort of brute force rounds coming out from them. Because that was hugely successful considering what they invested. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you have to bear in mind as well. Is like when you're playing with a stand-in, you may not have the quickest rotations. You may not have the player there exactly when you need them. And more so, you're already going to be playing with a disadvantage even just in terms of firepower. So if you can just like go and take these individual jewels, give these fantastic players a chance to try and find openers rather than just playing these slow rounds and giving picks to the, what, what I would say are better players on MV, such as Sonic taking aggressive orb jewels. Well then, round 24. Let's see if it is going to be a return to normality or if this is actually my BR stuck to create some distance and possibly put themselves into a position to overtake as they need a second win. It looks like they've started to find it, though, as Sonic, the man that wanted to be a bit more outrageous, go for a cheeky play. It doesn't work out well at all. Fallen straight through his noggin there with the opening blow from that orb. Elay potentially to trade it back. MP9 up close and personal. I mean, he might be able to do some damage, oh, although they're going to oh. be aware he's there. And he's also knocked down to 50 HP. They're going for the elevated Ooh. boost over as well. They'll spot him. And this is where things really start to spiral out of control. Yeah, Som at least manages to get one, but he's trying to fall back into a position where he can do something. Has the incendiary. I wonder if he was going to make a play back through the smoke, but he knows that all the information is there. They actually don't smoke off CT. This is interesting, but still Som goes strong. He's found another one looking to try and do more damage through the smoke, but he isn't going to find anything as of yet. It is going to be Android looking for the peak. And all, not going to be able to do anything, though. And MIBR, they get their 11th. Still going. Taco takes the fight. Their money's not in the greatest of states. I know they want to remove the weaponry because MV are broke. 
But even still, it may not be worth the risk of your own. No. At this point, they'll probably try and let sleeping dogs lie, just go for the saves on what they have. Fallen obviously want to get out of there, exiting towards Banana soon, hopefully. As he has only taken a sliver of damage, he should be fine as soon as he gets towards tree area. So it's not too bad, though. That's going to be 11 of 13 now. They're two rounds away from at least equalizing this. And they're really starting to push their way forward now. They're, they found the weak points against Envy. They've realized they need to change the pace slightly. They're being more sort of commanding in the way they're playing it as well. Trying to go for those bigger heavy hits and really playing quite aggressive. Som, as he binds plus left, has a little bit of a spin to try to reset himself and cool down. The rest of the squad needs to get fired up. It looks like they actually will be buying straight back into this one as well. They're going for the reinvestment. We have the AWP on Sonic. We've got the auto shotty on Android, who's going to look to try and chew his way through them. Both of them being stationed over towards the A site with a bit of assistance from Fugly as well. And then it'll be Eli and Som, as per usual, back over at Banana. Aggression coming through, though. Yeah, they're taking... Looking to take the fight in towards the apps. Always love to see an XM. In the hands of Android, there's... Definitely possibilities for rounding oh. the corner. An instant shot to find a first. And oh, he's got more. He even tags up Taka, but not to really enough damage. I think he's hoping to try and get this AK. That's the main goal. And that's what he'll achieve as well. Just falling back. He's left a little present for Taka there. If he fancies using an auto shotgun. I have my doubts. But either way, it is going to stack up now with multiple players waiting. Only leaving LA to smoke off that B site. Basically just hold back and try and make sure they don't go in this direction. And by the looks of things, MIBR might be pushing into a straight up stack. Flash over so they can peek out. They want to try and fight for the control of Brackets. Android, it took him a second to compose himself. But once he did, he found two kills on Azus and Lucas. Sam as well. Pulls down on the trigger with a deagle and ends the life of Fallen. It's all up to Taco to try and make this one a bit more tricky as they want to try and battle him. They're getting the tags off. He's stuck there between a rock and a hard place. And he gets slammed in the face by the rock. That's going to be Sonic to beat him down. Round 14 finally picked up for Envy, Tom. Yeah, I feel quite bad for Zeus at this point. Like, it has been a long time since he's had a single kill on the board. He's just yeah. getting wrecked. And in that scenario, just caught out by a late aggressive flash. And even then, it's sort of tantalizing when you can hear all the bullets going past you. It's like, am I dead? <laughs> <laughs> Have I d Oh, no, I haven't. But now I get to look as I die instead. But this is what I mean when I spoke about money. And I, I am questioning the fact that Zeus has one of the rifles. Like, this is an interesting play. First, just going to try and brute force it. Zeus actually going to get the entry, though. Looking for a second, but Fugly is there. Fallen will trade. But there's another from Som instead. Keeping them with the advantage. Lucas at least will retrieve one of the rifles. The other one's a little bit further away. Bear in mind, Taco's the only one with Kevlar in this scenario. Som's still waiting on the angle. They don't expect him to go for such an aggressive repeat. And the rest of the team is still a little bit further behind with this peek back in. Unfortunately, though, if you're an MIBR fan, they don't have any smoke. That nade did filthy damage. It's a showstopper to at least leave them in an awkward position on the cross as well. Sonic missing the follow-up shot. Taco, he's given a chance here. If he can find the frag onto Som, maybe he can do something as he's trapped between them both, battling left and right constantly. Flashbang comes over as well to try and slow him down a bit. Tried to go for the peak, doesn't work out well. That's the shot to secure 15 for Envy as they have match point now. It all teeters on this going forward. They need one round to close it out. The double orb setup has been working wonders for them. And they're still in a good position to try and close this game down. If they take the first map, it means Mirage will be coming up next. That is MIBR's pick. But can they resurge, Tom? Can they somehow get themselves back in the game? Well, yeah, that, that's the thing. Who even knows what will happen? Because we, we've seen some close games from MV versus like Fury or on Mirage. And I think they beat in to yeah. like a fairly puggy team. So going into a sort of pug style match versus a team that individually, like it, it's been questionable from some of the players. Like, sure, we've seen a bit of a resurgence. Like, Farah stepped up, Fallen's had a pretty good game. And on Mirage, I think there's definitely more impact to be had with the AWP. But at the same time, I think it's a much better map for Sonic AWPing as well. Like, I don't think, I don't think uh, really Inferno is one of his better maps. He's just still been having some impact on the CT side. So going into a map like Mirage, that was actually one that, at least when he was in the South African side, I think it was one of his best maps. So yeah, going forward, this could be great. They've still got to close it down. They lost the pistols before. We've already witnessed that once with a fast, aggressive play. However, this time, much slower from the Brazilians.
I don't know if this is going to work out as well from either, because they're literally playing into the orbs. They're just going to be walking straight out for it. There wasn't much room of a trade there. They attempted to. They did a lot of damage, but they haven't been able to reinstigate the, the aggression. Day, yeah. Now you're left really in a tight spot. A pickle, if you will, Tom. Oh, incendiary available to at least try and slow down any sort of push. Not going to be able to go through it just yet, although the re-smoke kind of helps them out a little bit. You can see some sneaky plays coming through. Lots of damage being done off the back of some utility. Fur going to go pushing through and does manage to catch off Sonic. Alay, though, with the chance to shut this down. It's Som to steal his frag, but... We'll see if he can catch out Fallen. Yes, he can. An instant one tap as well. Now Fur left all alone. It's looking like this map is all envies at this stage. With 15 seconds left, Fur will be able to take one, but the second isn't there. It's LA with 22 kills to close this out. Really sticking up there with the rest of the team. Like, that is an impressive showing. When you look across the board, pretty much everybody even. And Envy, they're going to take themselves a map. And you know what? They look pretty.